are good. You are good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's for who you are. Can I get a witness that the Lord is good this morning? Hallelujah. I woke up with this song on my mind this morning. Now y'all, y'all can just help me do it a little bit. Amen. For every mountain oh, yeah. you brought me over. Yes. For every trial. For every trial. You see me through. For every blessing, for every blessing, hallelujah, hallelujah, for this, for this. For every trial, you see me through. For every blessing, oh, I sing hallelujah. For this, oh, Lord, I give you praise. For every mountain, you brought me over, and for every trial, you see me through. For every blessing, oh hallelujah. For this, come on, let's lift it up. Let's lift it up. For every mountain, you brought me over, and for every trial, you see me through. For every blessing, for every blessing. Hallelujah. For this. Oh Lord, I give you praise. Let's say it one more time. For every mountain. You brought me over. For every trial, you see me through. For every blessing, hallelujah. Why don't you just take a minute and praise the Lord? Come on, just lift your hands and open your mouth and praise Him. Come on, think about it. Oh, for every blessing, for every Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For this I give you praise. 
come on lift your hands and give God glory for every blessing for every mountain uh, he's brought you over he has been with you come on let's give God glory before we call our deacons up for scripture and prayer this is your time for worship this is your time for praise hallelujah praise the Lord praise the Lord hallelujah I think you can do better than that I said I think you can do better than that he's been good to you amen worship is not a spectator sport it's a participation event it's a moment where you come and give God glory you owe him that you owe him that he woke you up this morning hallelujah he's been your protector he's been your provider he's been your shield and your buckler he's been all you needed hallelujah praise the lord hallelujah give him glory give him glory amen 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 our deacons will come with scripture and prayer amen praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah Test me. i come and tell you from colossus fourth chapter second verse second through fifth verse good the change in prayer and watch in the same with thanksgiving. With us praying also for us. The God will open unto us a door of others to speak the mystery of Christ, for which I am also in bond. If that I may make it bank Memphis is out to speak. Walking with them towards them that are without, redeeming the time. I pray for you the fourth chapter, two to five. Good morning, St. Luke. Good morning. Good morning. Prayer time. Can y'all bow your heads? Thank you, Heavenly Father, for making this a beautiful day that you didn't give up, gave us. Thank you for waking us up this morning and starting us on our way. Thank you for food on the table, Lord. I just want to say thank you. Thank you for your healing. Thank you for your love, your grace, your mercy. Just praying for the world praying for the Middle East, oh, yeah. praying for Chicago, yes, for yeah. all the violence that's going on right now. So we ask right now that God, that you put a stop to this and just put softness in, in their hearts so they can be compassionate to other people yeah. to just stop this killing for little girls and boys. It's just, it shouldn't be this way right now, Lord. But I know you can, and you will provide, you, and you will let people see the way. So we just praying for the people in front of us, in back of us, yes, on Lord. side of us. We praying for our choir. Yes, we praying for our deacon brother and, yes, and deacon sister that's out right now. Thank you, Lord. That's um, just trying to get better. Yes. So we praying for the, the sick and the shut in and afflicted. And we just praying that yes. the Lord can just touch, yes. touch every one of us yes. so we can feel that spirit and the, the fruits of the spirit. So yes. we just say thank you, Lord, and we praying for our pastor yes. to touch him right now. Yes. We praying for our superintendent of Sunday school yes. that's to touch her right now. We praying for uh, musicians. And we're praying for just one another. 
So, Lord, we just say thank you, and we put it in your hands, and we know everything going to be all right because you are the author and the finisher of our faith. So, Lord, we say thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Come on, let's give God some glory all over the house before we take our seats. Let's praise the Lord. Amen. In this place, amen. For the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof and the world that they dwell therein. Hallelujah. Come on, come on. I need to hear you. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. says enter his gates with thanksgiving into his courts with praise then be thankful unto him Put your hands together this morning. Enter his gates. Thankful. We ought to be thankful. 
for all he's done. We ought to be thankful and blessed and blessed. We ought to bless. Come on, put your hands and move together this morning. We come to praise his name. We come. We come to praise his name. We come to praise him. Did anybody come? We come. We come to praise him. We come. We ought to praise him. You ought to enter into his gate with thanksgiving and enter. I lay. We came to clap our hands. We came to do our dance. We come. We come. Ale. That's the highest praise we can give. Let everything that has breath praise his name. He's been good. He's been good. He's been good. what we came to do this morning. Bless his name. Glory to God. How many know the Lord is good? His mercy is everlasting, and it endures forever. Thank you, God. never fails me all my days I have been held in your hands from the moment that I wake up until I lay my head Oh, I will sing of the goodness of God. I love you, Lord, 
For your mercy never fails me Ooh, all my days I have been held in your hands From the moment that I wake up until I lay my head Oh, I will sing Of the goodness of God Cause all my life You have been faithful Yes, you have, Lord. In all my life, you have been so, so good. With every breath that I, Lord, I'm able. Oh, I, I will sing of the goodness of God I love your voice thank you Lord you have led me through the fire in darkest night you are close like no other know you as a father oh I know you as my friend yeah and I have lived in the goodness of God yeah All of my life you've been so faithful You've been so, so good With every breath Every breath I'm able I'm gonna sing, yes I will Oh, yes, uh, oh, your goodness is running after, it's running after me, yeah, yeah, your goodness is running after, it's running after me, with my Surrender now, Lord. I give you everything. Yes, I will. Your goodness is running after, it's running after me. Sing it with me, your goodness. Yes, it is. Every day. When my life lay down, I 
chasing after me. And all my life you have been faithful. Yeah, yes. And all my life you have been so, so good. With every breath, every breath I'm able. of the goodness of God I will sing of the goodness of my God every time I think about what you've done I'm gonna sing of the goodness of God how you brought me out, how you saw me through, how you picked me up, I'm going to sing. Oh, you healed me, Lord. You saved me, Lord. You set me free, Lord. I'm going to sing. Every time I tell a story, I'm going to tell how good you've been, how good you've been of your goodness yes I, oh, I'm gonna sing every blessing every time you brought me out I'm gonna sing yeah yes of the goodness of God Come on, if you're going to sing of the goodness of God, you got to open your mouths. You got to cry out hallelujah. For the Lord has been good to us. His goodness has followed us. We're here because of his mercy and his grace. We thank God today. We thank God today. Hallelujah, somebody. We thank God. We thank God. We thank God. All my life, you've been faithful. And all my life, you've been so good he deserves praise right there for when you think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for you your soul should cry out hallelujah hallelujah praise the Lord thank God thank God Hallelujah. Yes, yes. He's been there in a the time of trouble. Hallelujah. See, when you've tried the Lord and, and you've seen him come through for you, you don't have any problem with your praise because it's just a perpetual state of gratitude that you're in because you realize, realize how good God has been to you. <laughs> praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It's prayer time. It's prayer time. I believe we need to cry out to the Lord. We need to let the Lord know that we need him. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
It's all right to praise him. It's all right to give him glory. A hymn writer by the name of Fanny Crosby wrote in 1869, Jesus keep me near the cross. There a precious fountain, free to all a healer's stream, flows from Calvary's mountain. And I don't know if you ever reflected on the words of that great hymn, but what it says is that he's available to us. He's right there when you need him. And the good thing is, it's free to all. All that call on him, all uh, that profess need in him. And it's because the blood that was shed on Calvary's mountain that we can come and just say, Lord, keep me near the cross. I watch and wait. Hope and trust till I reach the golden strand just beyond the river. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you today for being God and God all by yourself. Lord, you know what we need before we even know what to ask for. And so we stand before you, Father God, uh, in various needs, asking you, Father God, to touch us right now in the name of Jesus. We're mindful, Father God, that we owe you so much gratitude today. We owe you, Father God, for all you continue to do for us. Lord, we're mindful that you woke us up this morning. You touched us with your finger of love. And we opened our eyes. The sun was shining through our windows. And Lord, we just appreciate your consistency and your faithfulness. For when we closed our eyes last night, Father God, uh, there was not surety that we would wake up. But you, Father God, look beyond our faults and our dastardly deeds and our sinful nature and still allowed us to see a brand new day. And so we say thank you, Lord. We thank you this morning that we have the sense even to pray. For the Bible instructs us to pray without ceasing. And we know we need you right now, Father God. We need your presence in this place. So many things are happening even right now. We pray, Father God, for Reverend Booth and Sister Deborah and the loss of their cousin. We pray for that entire family, dear Lord, that they will be comforted in this season. Lord, we continue to pray for Sister Ethel Dawson uh, as she had to funeralize her brother-in-law yesterday. We pray for that family. Lord, we pray for the Petty family who lost their sister just the other day, Sister Sandy Petty. Close her eyes on this side of the Jordan, Father God. We pray, Father God, that she open them up in 
the eternal rest and peace uh, that only you can provide. Comfort that family, dear Lord. Lord, we pray, Father God, for the sick among us, dear Lord. Those that are aching, we pray for the chairman of the deacon board, Deacon Anthony Cannon. We pray for Deacon Norman White. We pray, Father God, for Deacon Al Eggleston. We pray for Deacon Reggie Thompson. Lord, you're a healer and we know you're able. And so we ask for you to touch them right now in the name of Jesus. Whatever they need. Lord, we pray, Father God, for Sister Ruth Ellis today. Uh, We know you're able, Father God. Take the anxiety away, dear Lord. Whatever the concern is, Father God, uh, allow her to put her trust in you. Uh, Lord, we've seen you work miracles. We've seen you do the impossible. So we stand steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, trusting and believing, dear Lord, you're able to keep us from falling. Lord, we thank you today for our young people. We ask for you to touch them right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, you're so good. Lord, we pray, Father God, for our seasoned saints. Touch them right now in the name of Jesus. Father God, we thank you, Lord, uh, for allowing Sister Irene to see yet another year. Uh, Father God, we thank you, Lord, uh, for her service to her community, her service to her church, the service to her family. Lord, we see you touch us. We're praying, Father God, for my sister and sister-in-law and my entire family today. Touch right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, there's so many that have called and said, pray for me. Touch them right now in the name of Jesus. And Lord, if they can hear me right now, uh, let them know I'm praying for them. Let them know, Father God, that I'm calling uh, on you to see about them. We thank you, Father God. Thank you, Lord, for Sister Cheryl Irvin's return after being on the East Coast, Father God. Strengthen her. Continue to heal her, Father God. Lord, we bless your name today. Oh, Lord, we can't help but celebrate you. We love you. We love you. We love you. We love you. Thank you, God. Praying for Sister Laura today, Father God. Continue to strengthen her. Lord, we know we need you right now. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Strengthen Deacon Peterson, Lord. Praying for the Hawkins family in the loss of little Dorothy. They might be down in Arkansas, Lord, but they need you right now to comfort them, Father God, for their loved one up here. We thank you, God, that you say you'll give us rest. You'll give us peace. Thank you, Lord. 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 This is your servant's prayer. In Jesus' name we do pray. And the saints of God said, Amen. Amen. Come on, let's celebrate the Lord. Give God glory. Give God praise. Hallelujah. If you know the Lord is able, I would thank him in advance. Hallelujah. I need a witness or two to say, I know he's able. Huh? I can testify. 
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank God for you, you, and you. Praise the Lord. We thank God for you. We thank God for you. We thank God for you. Amen. Amen. We welcome you here to St. Luke Missionary Baptist Church. And we pray that you are well in your spirit. No matter what you're going through, you're anxious for nothing. Hallelujah. I said you're anxious for nothing. Amen. We thank God that we can be thankful unto the Lord. Even in our time of need. Amen. So we thank God for you. Praise the Lord. Amen. We want to share with you today, amen, that we are already at the second Sunday in April. Amen, amen. This is our month of showers of blessings, amen. How many need a blessing from the Lord? Amen. Good to see Sister Lisa here, amen. Sister Dorothy says she saw you, amen, praise the Lord. Over there at Stroger, amen. When she was up here last week visiting uh, little Dorothy, amen, amen. You know, things are happening so fast and we just don't know. We got to be ready and prepared, y'all. Amen, amen. Uh, folks are getting sick. Folks are leaving here, amen. And we got to be ready. Uh, you got to be prepared. We got to share, amen. Uh, about preparation so that the Lord, we are in right with the Lord. Amen? Amen. And so continue to do that. It's so good to see each of you again. Uh, I'm just so grateful that the Lord has allowed me to see another day. Amen? Amen. Thank, amen. Listen, I know I had to cancel Sunday school review because I had a class and got in the class and found out I got three more weeks of the same class, amen. So I'm not going to be finished uh, Sunday school. I mean, I can't do Sunday school review until uh, after May 2nd. I got three more classes, amen. I got to get recertified. Dean, you should have told me. You should have told me. <laughs> Lord Jesus, I got to get recertified. So I had to take rethinking Christian education, amen. Amen. And so, uh, uh, or I can't teach. I can't teach if I can't, you know. So I had to take the class and got there. And I said, well, I thought it was going to be like a one class, you know. And they said, oh, no, no, no. You're going to be here for weeks. We'll see you next Thursday. And then Thursday after that. And then the Thursday after that. And then you can get your card and continue to teach uh, as a certified instructor and a certified dean. Amen. So, amen. So, uh, if your, uh, your what, instructor uh, expiration is coming up, um, you, ha you can only take the class online or you have to go to the National Congress or the Sunday School Publishing Board to take your dean classes or your certification as a recertification re as an instructor. Uh, amen. So, just keeping you informed, amen? So, that means, no, I'm not going to say you get a break, amen. That means you're going to study your lesson on your own, amen, amen, and be prepared, amen, uh, for uh, Sunday school by reading your lesson. So, Thursdays at 7.30 is on hold until after I complete my recertification. Is that okay? All right, okay, that's wonderful, amen. Amen. Looking forward to uh, uh, getting that complete. Also, um, we are, um, it just went right out of my head, but that's okay. All right, praise the Lord. I, now, who said, um? <laughs> oh, Family and Friends Day is coming up on the 28th of the month. Amen. That's the fourth Sunday. I need you to be inviting people already. Amen. I need you to be inviting people already, sharing the flyer on your page. Amen. Getting folks to come with you. We're going to have 
uh, some light food after the service and then we're heading over to the greater Shiloh Baptist Church for Reverend Lee's seven, seventh year anniversary. Amen. I'm asking all of you to come and support uh, uh, Reverend Lee. Amen. For his seven years, year of completion. Amen. And we thank God for him and the greater Shiloh Missionary Baptist Church. Amen. And so I want you to join me on that Sunday. Amen. Amen. This Saturday, the services for uh, uh, Reverend Booth and Sister Deborah's cousin will be here at St. Luke. And I believe it's 10 to 11, 11 to 12. Amen. Uh, uh, Brother Chris, amen. Please support that family if you can. Be here. Pray for them. Amen. Pray for his wife. Amen. And, 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 and their children. Amen. Thank God uh, that he knew the Lord. Amen. Amen. And then also on that next Sunday, uh, uh, Deacon Edward Davis will be giving his trial sermon during a 10 o'clock service. Amen. Amen. And so pray for him. Amen. Amen. So that he'll be able to stand in John's shoes and deliver the word. Amen. That the Lord has given him. Amen. Amen. And, and y'all all be witnesses whether he's worthy to continue to preach or not. Amen. 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 So that's why you need to pray for him. Amen. Because this is his trial sermon. Amen. Amen. And you want to pray that the spirit of the Lord is upon him. Amen. 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 He's been anointed to preach the good news. Amen. Unto the poor. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And so keep, please keep that in mind. Uh, also, this is Earth Week. Amen. This Earth Week, there is a Earth uh, 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 vigil on Thursday. Well, Faith in Place is doing a virtual Earth uh, vigil on Thursday night at six o'clock. If you want to, uh, uh, I will not be able to attend because I'm going to be in class. But if you want to go ahead and register, Amen. Please do. You'll have a great time. Also, I need you to register for our uh, climate. Uh, lobby day on May 9th amen some of you already did it the bus is going to leave from St. Luke amen it's going to leave from St. Luke I need you to register and be on that bus as we go down to Springfield and uh, let Springfield know that we are concerned about our environment amen and then uh, I know uh, uh, Sister Carol needs you as we start moving towards getting our garden ready and, and uh, she made an appeal last week and I don't know if anybody went up to her uh, and said uh, sign me up but if you haven't amen go see her and say sign me up amen we need you to be in the garden and help her get that together and then also we need some groundskeeping around the church amen amen uh, you know how they say at the airport if you see say something say something amen our new model is if you see something do something amen amen praise the lord amen don't just walk past it shaking your head saying uh 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 go do something amen pick up some paper amen do something uh, um put some gloves on and, and, and pick up something Amen. Instead of complaining, let's do that. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right. Again, let's pray for the Hawkins family. Sister Dorothy did inform me that little Dorothy passed um, today. Amen. And so we want to pray for her down in Arkansas and the whole family because they will have to come up. They will be coming back up here for the services. Uh, and then also Sister Petty, Sandra Petty passed, which is the, one of the baby twins. Uh, please pray for the Petty family. Pray for the Petty family. Uh, uh, and uh, those services, uh, arrangements are forthcoming. I will let you know when they have been finalized so we can support uh, Sister, uh, the Petty, whole, the whole Petty family. And then pray for Annie Ruth uh, 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 Ship. Amen. Uh, 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 she um, is doing better, a lot better. Amen. And so, um, but we don't want her to have a setback in the loss of, you know, with her losing her baby sister. Amen. All right. I think I covered as much as I can. Amen. 
I'm having one of them season moments. Amen. Can't remember it all. Be quiet, Jackie. Amen. Praise the Lord. It's giving time. I remember that part. It's giving time. Amen. God loves a cheerful giver. Amen. Amen. Somebody, you forget that. Mm -mm. Yes, indeed. God loves a cheerful giver. Amen. And we want to give unto the Lord. Amen. According to how he has blessed us. How many feel blessed by the Lord today? Amen. Amen. Yeah, again, a happy birthday to Sister Irene. Amen. Her family threw her a surprise birthday party yesterday and made her heart swell. Amen. But she deserves it. Amen. Amen. That is one woman that really pours out and gives her best to everyone, everybody on that whole block. Amen. They just think her mama Irene. Amen. Praise the Lord. And so we thank God for her. Amen. Amen. I just love you so much. Amen. Thank you so much for all you do. Amen. Amen. And she told me she'd been married to her husband 63 years. Oh. Ain't that something? Woo! That's longer than I've been born. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Amen. Amen. That's love. I can't even put up with myself. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> I look in the mirror and say, Sal, you getting on my nerves. <laughs> you do that too? I say, Lord Jesus. <laughs> Praise the Lord. There's something else. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, that's good. All right. Come on, let's uh, hold those envelopes up real high. Father God, we thank you for the time of giving. And we pray, dear Lord, that as we give, none will suffer lack for what they have determined in their hearts to give. But Father God, they will see increase benefits, Father God, for trusting and believing your word. Bless your givers right now. And in Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Amen. The ushers will come to you and collect your envelope. If you are watching us by way of streaming, well, you are encouraged to go to the Givelify platform and share on the Givelify platform. I know what I forgot. Mr. Mayor is having a Mother's Day brunch in University Park at the golf course. Amen. On Mother's Day. Amen. And I think it starts at 1.30 in the afternoon, right? So that's time for you to get out of church here and head to University Park for a Mother Day extravaganza fashion show, hat show, uh, vest. I saw all the stuff on the flyer. Amen. And I posted the flyer on the church's Facebook page so you can go to there and get the details. I knew it was something I meant to mention. Amen. Amen. Thank you for sharing that with us. Amen. Amen. So all, were, all are invited. All invited. Amen. Amen. All are invited. Amen. Uh, uh, thank you, Sister Linda. I know that you, they got you uh, running the activities out there in the University Park. Amen. How you doing? Praise the Lord for you. Wonderful. Sister Dean, how you doing?
Father God, we thank you for every gift and every gift giver. We pray all gifts be used for true kingdom building. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Come on, choir.
praise the Lord. You are the source of my strength and the strength of my life. Hallelujah. I heard, thank you, Lord. I hear you, Deacon. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Come on, let's celebrate the Lord. Let's celebrate the Lord. Amen. 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 Let's give God glory for these voices, these musicians, and all that has happened to get us to this point in the service. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. I thank God. Amen. How many love church? Amen. It isn't something about church. Amen. I tell the world, you just don't know what you're missing. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Grab your Bibles. Grab your Bibles. Amen. If you can. And go with me to Colossians chapter number four. Colossians chapter number four. Amen. And when you get there, say amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let the choir members get to their seats. Amen. Praise the Lord. Father God, we thank you for the time of preaching. And we pray right now, and Father God, that you would use here this lowly vessel of a preacher to preach your word. Decrease me now, and Father God, and increase yourself through me, dear Lord. Strengthen me in my speaking, Father God. Give me clarity in my teaching. Bless here the people of God to receive your word, Father God. Oh Lord, we thank you, Lord, for even this moment. We thank you for this season. We pray, Father God, for forgiveness of sins and transgressions. Use me mightily. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord again in this place. Amen. Colossians chapter number four, beginning at verse number two. Paul writes here to uh, this group of people, continue in prayer and watch in the same with thanksgiving. With all praying also for us that God would open unto us a door of utterance to speak the mystery of Christ for which I am also in bonds that I may make it manifest as I ought to speak walk in wisdom toward them that are without Redeeming the time, let your speech be always with grace, seasoned with salt, that ye may know how ye ought to answer every man. Just want to preach uh, from the particular subject. Uh, if only we would pray. If only we would pray pray. Come on, give God some praise as you take your seats. Amen. If only we would pray, I believe we would see a change in the way things are. I don't know if you feel like I feel, but I believe the world is in crisis. Uh, we are in a world of trouble. Uh, when you hear uh, that one country has uh, loose over a hundred uh, drones or missiles heading to another country, uh, you know that we are 
in trouble. Uh, when the civil unrest is happening there in the Middle East, and folks are steadily worrying on what is the next move and what's going to happen next, we can tell that we are in trouble. When you turn on your news here locally and see all that's going on in the city of Chicago, when an eight-year-old loses their life by just being there in the crowd, and someone can shoot up the crowd and drive up Damon and act like nothing has happened. I'm here to tell you, we are in trouble. When we look at the rate uh, of carjackings and robberies, uh, up, they said, some 38%. Uh, where you feel unsafe to even go to the store because you're thinking someone's going to tell you to get out of your car and drive away with the car that you haven't even paid for yet. And you still working hard to make the car note and make it work. You know we are in trouble. I don't have to build an argument because we already see what's going on around us. When we see the church uh, is half empty uh, because folks done made up in their mind uh, that they're just not going to come to church. I'm not talking about those that's watching on streaming. I'm talking about this. Some folks just won't turn their streaming on, won't uh, come to church, won't do nothing about the church or do nothing for the church. Amen. We are in trouble. Uh, listen, when we see a decrease in attendance, uh, uh, even Christians have stopped coming to church, stopped getting engaged in, with the word of God. I'm telling you, y'all, we are in trouble. If only we would pray. Paul writes near the conclusion of his epistle to the Colossians, continue steadfastly in prayer. Be watchful in it, that's prayer, with thanksgiving. What a concept. Praying and praising, approaching God continually, and keeping praise at the forefront of our minds. Listen, I gather that Paul instructs the church to pray because he understands that prayer is the saint's greatest weapon. Listen, not just prayer, but prayer with looking for opportunity to thank God. I wish I had somebody here this morning that said, I'm looking for an opportunity to thank God. Because when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for me, my soul cries out, hallelujah. Listen, listen, when you look at this text and, and you read it from the Message Bible's point of view, it says, uh, uh, pray diligently, stay alert with your eyes wide open in gratitude. The Roman writer says in Romans chapter 12, rejoice in hope, be patient in tribulation, be constant in prayer. It's something about prayer and praise that should go together. There's something about asking God for something and then thanking him for all what he's done. Listen, goes together. I found out you can't keep asking God if you haven't thanked him for what he's already done for you. How many thank God already because he woke you up? this morning how many thank God man, because he put food on your table and clothes on your back how many thank God uh, because you got a roof over your head uh, listen some of us take God for granted we complaining about the migrants uh, but you got a house to go to listen you got shelter Listen, you don't have to travel 2,000 miles to make it to a border to beg somebody to come in. We have to learn how to rejoice. We have to learn how to praise. But also we have to learn how to use our weapon of prayer. There's some things we need to be praying about. Some things only come by prayer and supplication and fasting. 
Listen, so many of us are, listen, are so worried uh, 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 because we have not prayed about it. Paul shares in these verses from 2 to 4 some advice not for the Colossian church, but for the modern day church. The modern day church can use some advice today how we need to continue steadfastly in prayer. Being watchful in it with thanksgiving at the same time, Paul says, pray also for us that God may open to us a door for the word to declare the mystery of Christ. Paul says this from yeah, behind prison walls because he's locked up for spreading the gospel. He's locked up for sharing uh, the truth about Jesus. He's locked up uh, because he who once was a, 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 a convictor of those that were in the way had became a follower of those that are in the way. He became for Christ. Listen, I don't know about you, but I need some newly spokespeople uh, for Christ. I need somebody to have a testimony that I once was lost, but now I'm found. Listen, I need somebody to have a testimony that God struck me down on, on my own road of Damascus and changed my very thoughts and my mind. And now today, you can't convince me to do nothing else but speak up for Jesus. I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. Paul shares here with the church that we need to be able to spread this gospel so that those that are lost can find their way. But he tells us there's some things we really need to do. He says walk in wisdom towards outsiders making the best use of the time let your speech always be gracious seasoned with salt so that you may know how you ought to answer each person listen today the church is searching for its relevancy so many people are questioning whether they even need the church um, a great percentage of folks uh, don't come to church. They don't send their children to church. They don't have any connection to church. The only time they see church is if somebody dies. But we have to start helping people see church as a, a, a lifeline, a, a place where you can get restored, a place where you can be reconciled with God, a place where God can change your life for the better. The world has done a con job on itself. The world has fooled itself to say that they don't need God. But how many can testify that without God, you would perish? Without God, you couldn't make it. Without God, there would be no you. Listen, listen. And it's not just the world. We've done a hatchet job on the church ourselves listen listen because we have not demonstrated listen how we really should walk listen the place that may uh, that many seek for refuge uh, has itself demonstrated ungodly behavior we have hurt the hurting we have killed the wounded listen we talk so bad about the church ourselves uh, that the world was no part of what we got you wonder why your family don't come to church because you having to listen you having the church for dinner you talking about everybody in the church you talking about everybody around the church listen the church uh, has a problem of killing itself listen listen the fact is the church is not healthy listen she has intermittent fits of health uh, she starts off uh, with good energy, but then uh, uh, she has a turn. And, and then when she has that turn, uh, it has people questioning, is this the right place for me? Because some, listen, it, 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 I, I'm a good big football fan, and I know that on any given Sunday, any team could win. 
Um, but I found that on any given Sunday, you can run into the wrong saint at the church. Huh? Uh, you, you listen. You can sit next to the wrong person uh, on any given Sunday. Uh, you didn't mean to sit there. You just uh, sat there. Uh, they looked friendly. Uh, um, but about 15 minutes in, uh, you realize uh, you were in trouble. Yeah. Paul says that we need to continue in prayer. Not one week, uh, but every week. Yeah. Not for a season, but in all seasons. Uh, the church needs to be crying out always to the Lord asking the Lord to see about us Paul has made it known that we need a stark reminder that the church has to help itself listen the church has to do right in order to convince others to do right so how do we start this how do we start this first of all Paul says pray continually and so somebody asks uh, what does prayer do well I'm glad you asked hmm? because prayer allows us to be intercessors with God we have the ability to pray for one another. Listen, I was growing up and I heard a song in the church. Uh, somebody prayed for me, had me on their mind, uh, took the time to pray for me. How many glad uh, that somebody prayed for you? Huh? The preacher prayed for me had me on their mind took the time to pray for me we have a responsibility to pray for one another I just believe I just believe this if somebody actually sat next to you or picked up the telephone and called you and said pray for me you know what they really want you to pray for them did I say something too profound? Did, 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 it, was that co completely for real? Listen, if I call you up, let me make it plain. If I actually dial your seven digits and say, pray for me, I want you to pray for me. That means I have confidence in you that you can get a prayer through. I got confidence that your relationship with God the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous availeth much. Now, and if nobody calling you to ask for prayer, maybe you need a righteous check. Why should the church pray? I'm glad you asked. Because the church has the ability to make some things happen. When the church prayed uh, for Peter. Huh? Y'all remember Peter was locked up. It would look hopeless. They were behind the walls praying what? For Peter. And the Lord visited Peter and opened the doors. Next thing they know Peter was knocking on the door. We got to learn how to pray. The ch we, there can be a great move of God. If we just learn how to pray. If my people who are called by my name would humble themselves and would pray and seek my face. Listen, listen. He says, then shall I hear from heaven. And then shall I heal the land. We have to pray. The Ephesian writer said in Ephesians chapter 6, he says, praying at all times in the spirit with all prayer and supplication.
To that end, keep alert with all perseverance, making supplication for all the saints and also for me that the word may be given to me in opening my mouth boldly to proclaim the mystery of the gospel. Listen, what I found out is when we pray, things happen. Huh? That's why the songwriter said, pray for me and I'll pray for you and watch God change things. As a matter of fact, if you don't like my sermon, pray for me. Yeah, I'll preach better. Huh? Listen, listen. You don't like the way I teach? Pray for me. I'll teach better. Listen, when you pray, listen, you'll learn more. When you pray, we'll go further. We got to continue in prayer. That's our greatest weapon. And do you know, watch this, and I'm going to go to my next point. Watch this. Have you noticed that when you start praying, the enemy gets busy? listen listen I, I, I need somebody to join me on this listen, have you gone into prayer and then all of a sudden distractions happen have you ever tried to figure out sister Ruth why the devil would be picking on you when you trying to talk to God because guess what he knows that as you're talking to the Lord Something is happening. You're getting strengthened. You're getting your help. So if he can throw you a curveball, if he can interrupt, that's why he says pray continually. Because he understands that the enemy will try to distract you knock you off your square keep you from getting your blessing huh praying continually prayer and praise is just a foundation but Paul reminds us that there's some more we need to walk in wisdom say walk in wisdom the church is suffering loss because we who are knowledgeable we who are intellectual are not using wisdom we got a lot of knowledge but we don't know how to apply it we got a lot of word in us but we don't know how to talk to those outside the walls of the church all we know is church talk God is good and good all the time how are you I'm blessed and highly favored you gotta let the church talk go and you gotta learn how to get real with people somebody really needs to hear from you baby I've been where you've been I know what you're going through listen don't let this church outfit fool you huh there was some times in my life that I was ratchet huh there was some times in my life I cursed like a sailor there's some times in my life I lied I gossip I cheated But let me invite you to somebody that can change your whole life. Let me invite you to somebody that looks beyond your faults and see your needs. Let me introduce you to somebody that picked me up out of the miry clay. Let me introduce you to somebody. I know a man. He's healing the sick. Come see a man. That's what that woman at the well said. Come meet a man that knew all about me. We so ashamed of our past that we can't share with somebody that God can do it. I wish somebody had somebody in the house that God can do it. Listen, 
The Ephesian writer reminds us to look carefully then how you walk. Not as unwise, but as wise. You can find this in Ephesians chapter 5. Verse number 15, 16, and 17. But watch this. Making the best use of the time because the days are evil. Therefore, do not be foolish, but understand what the will of the Lord is. Listen, listen, listen. You know, we forget that even the church has, to have, has made a pivot on how we do church. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know it, it messes with us, but people today will not embrace how we did church growing up. We used to come to church early on Sunday, 9.30 Sunday school, 11 a.m. service, 3.30 afternoon service, musicals, anniversary days, BTU at 6 p.m. Yeah. Listen, that's how we did church. We went church all day. I got news for you. That will not fly today. And anyone who is stuck in that time is like a dinosaur. That ministry is heading or has already headed towards extinction. As bad as COVID was, it allowed the church to pivot and drop a lot of the stuff that was wasting our time. Huh? All those services weren't making any of us any better. You no more saved now than you were then. Huh? God wasn't getting any glory. Folks were getting upset because you left their name off the program. They mad because they couldn't march in to their favorite song. We made a mockery of worship. When the Lord told us to come and worship him in spirit as, as well as in truth. You can get more out of condensed spiritual worship than a long day of us just gathering together looking for a reason. Huh? Listen, listen. We are constantly looking at what we are sending out. Uh, if it needs tweaking, uh, then I'm willing to tweak it. What should the church be doing? Well, I'm glad you asked. I'm almost done, matter of fact. But Ephesians chapter 5, 18 through 21 says that the, and it's that same chapter that I just read. It says, be filled with the Spirit. Let me read it again. Be filled with the Spirit. Maybe I'll say it one more time. They missed it. They missed it. Listen, listen, I'm a labor it, labor. I'm a labor it. I'm a labor it. Listen, be filled with the Spirit. Addressing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs and singing melody to the Lord with your heart. Giving thanks always. For everything to God the Father in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And get this. Submitting to one another out of reverence for Christ. Oh Lord. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Listen, that's what wise saints do. Wise saints know how to give God glory. Wise saints know how to talk to one another listen listen let this mind be in you which is also in Christ Jesus hallelujah somebody why are saints not talking about each other huh? not complaining about stuff 
But how many just glad that the Lord allowed you to be here today? I know I'm preaching long, but aren't you glad that the Lord is even allowing you to hear it? Watch. Huh? Pray continually, walk in wisdom, and then watch. Say, watch. Watch with thanksgiving. Who is thankful this morning? Huh? You should be looking for opportunity to thank God. It could have been me. It should have been me. But thanks be unto God. God blocked it. God stopped it. God didn't let it come to pass. God kept me. God saw about me. Could have been me. Should have been me. Hallelujah. I'm thankful this morning. He's been so good to me. Every day I'm grateful. That calamity didn't take me out. Every day I'm thankful. Not because I'm so good. But because he's so good. His goodness and mercy follows me. Every day of my life. He sweeps up the bad stuff. And let the good stuff shine. Somebody said, what you talking about, Pastor? I'm talking about what I'm talking about. He's a great God. Aren't you glad that, Lord, don't show all your mess? There's not... <laughs> Listen, listen, I'm not trying to put nobody on blast. That's not me. But I'm just telling you what I'm telling you. What we see here is not always what was. Watch this, watch this. I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go. Listen, which leads me to see what Paul was trying to say when he said, speak graciously. You can't go out to the world with all that pious talk. It, 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 it's not gonna work. These young people, listen, listen, they don't wanna hear all that pious speech. Huh? Uh, listen, listen. Paul literally says, let your speech always be gracious. How many glad that God's been gracious to you? He's shown you unmerited favor. Huh? Listen, listen. The Lord has opened some doors for you. Listen, that were closed. But the Lord opened those doors for you. The Lord gave you some opportunity. He gave you some jobs and your resume was jacked up. He gave you some cars when your credit was messed up. But he says, let your speech always be gracious. Listen, to the outsiders. So the next time you meet somebody at Walmart or at Walgreens or at Target, listen, next time you at the bank, listen, and you're trying to share the word of God, share it graciously. Matter of fact, this is, listen, he says seasoned with salt. I'm about to sit down, but watch this. I'm about to bless you. Listen, 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 listen. You got to know how to tell your story. Be gracious, seasoned with salt. Listen, listen, remember that Jesus says salt is good, but if, if the salt has lost its saltiness, how will you make it salty again? Listen, have salt in yourselves and be at peace with one another. Listen, our seasonedness should bring peace. 
it causes us to act differently towards each other especially towards the world how are we going to win the world if we can't be gracious enough to approach the world how are we going to tell somebody about Jesus the Christ if we already wrote people off I got news for you for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life that means he wants Bay Bay, Ray Ray, JJ and any other Shay Shay out there to hear the word of God and who are you to be judge and jury on who gets the word of God or not the Lord says, go ye therefore and make disciples. And the only way you're going to make disciples if the world see you as a disciple yourself. Somebody go start my car because I know I'm in trouble now. Huh? Because listen, because too many of us, listen, we talk the talk, but we don't walk the walk listen listen we tell folks you need God but our lives don't look like we got God in it listen you got to stop all that infighting you got to stop all that scoffing uh, listen you got to be here in true sense of harmony when the world walks through those doors they got to see a church that is collective a church uh, that is loving on one another a church that is actually walking in wisdom why why should we do that because the Lord paid the price for us to do that when he died on that cross he died so that we can get it right when he died on that cross he died so that we would speak what he says speak when he died on that cross it wasn't for us to elevate ourselves it was for us to elevate him for he said if I if I be lifted up from the world I'll draw all men unto me he says how will they know that you're my disciples you'll be known by your love love ye one another as I have loved you when the world sees the church it needs to see a church uh, that's a praying church a church uh, that continues to pray for one another as well as the world a church uh, that's walking in wisdom and a church that's watchful and thankful and a church that knows how to speak to someone and next time you see me speak graciously to me listen I know I may not have it all together but still speak graciously to me may have some faults but speak graciously to me may not have my pants up where they need to be but speak graciously to me listen the lady said my skirt may be too short but speak graciously to me my children may be bad but speak graciously to me may not have a job but speak graciously to me may have a little stench because I haven't bathed but speak graciously to me listen may not be well kept but speak graciously to me may not pull up to a mansion may live in a, 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 a trap house but speak graciously to me may not have a Cadillac matter of fact jumping up on CTA but next time you see me speak graciously to me may be eating out of the garbage can don't look down on me speak graciously to me why would I do that because Jesus from the cross he spoke graciously to a crowd that hated on him he said father forgive them for they know not 
what they do. Uh, he spoke graciously about them uh, because he wanted them to understand uh, that even though you don't understand what I'm doing, uh, I'm doing it just for you. Now, if you can just help me close this sermon, somebody say, yes, my Savior died. He died on an old rugged cross. He hung his head in the locks of his shoulder and gave up the ghost. They put him in a borrowed tomb. It was borrowed because he wouldn't need it long. All night Friday, all day Saturday, all night Saturday night, he hung in that tomb. But early, 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 early Sunday morning, he got up with all power in his hand. If only we would pray, things would be a lot better. I said, if only we would pray, praying with thanksgiving. What a concept. What a concept. Praying and praising God. It's not as mind-blowing as it sounds. But when we give thanks to God for the things that he's done, it makes room for the things that he's doing. <laughs> Doors of the church are open for Christian discipleship. Perhaps you're here. Perhaps you're here. And you would like to know what prayer can do for you. I just believe that God's ears are attentive to those that pray. He will not leave you hanging. He will not have you questioning why you even went to him. He'll touch you. Deliver you. Heal you. Fix you up. Prop you up. Are you here today? Are you here today? Thank you. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praying for you. Amen. Good to see you, Monty. Amen. Praise the Lord. Prayer, prayer, prayer changes things. Prayer works. Continue steadfastly in prayer, being watchful in it with thanksgiving. Let's pray, let's pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for our brother, Monty. We pray, dear Lord, that you would touch him, meet him right where he is, Father God, whatever the need is, dear Lord. Help him through it, Father God. Whatever the challenge is, allow him to be an overcomer, be victorious, Father God. We pray even right now, dear Lord, that uh, you would bless his life bless his family uh, bless all those that come in contact with him allow him to continue to proclaim uh, the word of God uh, concerning his life we thank you today Father God for every person under the sound of my voice that they will be healed and made whole they will be able to share all that you have done for them if only we would pray if only we would talk it over with you Lord we pray even right now for your grace and your mercy to continue in our lives we pray Father God for this church we pray dear Lord for whatever has been asked of you that you would come 
and allow your will to be done in our lives and allow us to align with your will Father God and still be thankful for what you have done city today we pray Father God that there'll be peace in our city we pray Father God for the families that have been affected by the mass shooting here in our city we pray continually Father God that you would have mercy on your people thank you Lord thank you Lord thank you Lord this is your servant's prayer in Jesus name we do pray amen 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 praise the Lord let's let us stand let us stand amen 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 Father God, we pray for your peace as we leave this place. We pray, Father God, that you'll be with us as we travel on the highways and the byways. We pray, Father God, that you'll watch over us. Allow us, Father God, to experience your glory each and every moment of the day. And now as we leave here, we pray we never leave your presence. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. 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 Wave at somebody. Holler at somebody. Smile at somebody. Thank God.